What's up, everybody? This is Five Gazama here with part two of Crystal Lust's Play. Now, in this episode, we catch a brand a new Pokemon to our team. And to top that off, we battle our rival SBJ. Now, in the world. Okay, it's a Hoot Hoot! Okay, why a Hoot Hoot though? Now, while this video goes on, I'm going to let you guys know how to cut some stuff because of the YouTube limit being 15 minutes long. So, I had to cut some of the battles, if not most of them, which really sucks because I wasn't, I didn't have a timer set or anything for this video. But, the only battle that really mattered was Battle with the Rider. That's about it. So. I'm heading to Cherry Grove City so we can go meet our rival SBJ after. I don't go to Pokemon Center right now. But there he is. There's SBJ right there. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. The wimp like you. Dot, 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 dot. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I got a two. I see what you mean. I'll see you what I mean. I don't even speak English at all, but god, it is. This is our first language, too. That's really bad, and this dude doesn't even speak English at all, either. Um, <laughs> he leads with Cinequil, his only Pokemon. I would go with Kenny, the Super Chikorita. You know, he missed the Leer. Not gonna lie there, that did, did kind of matter. But I'm just gonna keep going for move after move. I'm gonna keep going for tackles, because that's the only thing I can hit this thing with. And that's pretty much what happens in this battle. We both just bring off tackles on each other and just keep get, just, just keep going, you know? I get a crit there, which mattered, because this battle would take a lot longer if I didn't get that crit. And then I go for another tackle, but it's still, I'm still waiting on this thing's health. I believe it's right now I reveal to myself that the second gen starters get the held item berry, which increases the revives hit points revives the total number of hit points of ten. So now this turn I'll beat the cynical the fifteen hit points left on my Chikorita, sixty nine for episode sixty nine of the Pokemon podcast. That was kinda of funny though. Anyway, I beat I beat the no name rival. No big deal there. I guess I could cut going back to the city, but I decided not to. We didn't take that long. So now I'll go to the Pokemon Center and heal up. Not, no, I'm hurry it up. <laughs> the only fact that effect is at max speed and it's still going sort of slow. Come on. I think the only battle after this that I keep in the video that lasts a little bit while is the is a bug catcher battle down the road, but it, mm, I thought I was going to get out of my way, woman. I am heading home for a couple hours. Yeah, I, I, I know my way around this route because it brings me back to the late 90s to 2000s when I did this, and I believe in heart and gold. The map didn't really change, but the game sort of did. And here's where we name our rival. Like I said in the first episode, I am going to name him SBJ. I, I, I wish I could get that soda out of that sitting right there. Yeah, I, I was thinking about changing the name, but the first episode really, I like the part that I was going to name this guy SBJ, so why not? The host of the PKMN cast with super effective SBJ or SB Jam, I don't know, I could have been ran with that. And now I give uh, Professor Elm the Pokey Egg just to give it to him, I guess, and he backs off, scared. Wait, this is a Pokemon egg. What? Professor Elm gave you a Pokedex? That's incredible! I know, right? It is incredible! So far, you can give me a high school. I wanted a Caterpie, but anyway. 
Um, he told me I should go to a, the gym challenge, and he told me the, the closest gym is in Violet City, so I should go there now. Instead, I got to talk to my mom. You know, let's go back to the. Why are you stopping me again? Okay. Oh, Pokeballs! Yay, Pokeballs! Yes, I know. I know, right? I'm awesome. Yes, I know how, to, how Pokeball works. I've been playing this game since Pokemon Red Green. I know how Pokemon works too. I know how the items work. I know how Chansey was gypped in Gen 1. Alright, now we're back. Now we're back at our house to talk to our mother to let her know that we're going on a very lengthy adventure. Now, this is one mechanic I like about Crystal Gold and Silver, the second generation, is because the mother can hold on to the, some extra money. And she also, if I'm not mistaken, will send you items. If not, that's in fourth gen only. But she'll call you and let you know what she's doing with the item, with your money. And she, she'll hold on to it. I think I ended gold with, I think, nine, like, almost the maximum amount of money, but, like, a couple million I had, you know? And this guy's going to ask me if I wanted to learn how to catch a Pokemon. I told him no. I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't want, I already know how to catch Pokemon, everybody should know how to catch Pokemon. I mean, some of the games just force this upon you. I like the fact that this game, he didn't force it upon you, so. Now I'm thinking about who to catch, I'm thinking Caterpie, but it's night right now, so I doubt I'm gonna be able to catch Caterpie. I decided to go up into the next route to see if I can catch a Jigglypuff or a friend, but... As, as you'll see, I'll show the only Pokemon I find in this area, which really sucks of who it is. And then I'll cut out to where I'm outside of this area, because there's nothing but, I think, Geodude here. Yeah, there's Geodude. I don't want a Geodude, so I just cut out there. Back to the Route 29. Alright. Yeah, like I said, not the greatest cuts, but eh, gotta learn sometime. Now, I battle at Hoot Hoot, but I really didn't want to. But I just ran away. I don't want to deal with Hoot Hoot. If I battle the Hoot Hoot, no, I just show me running away. Okay. Now we're heading back to Route 30 so I can catch the Pokemon I was telling you guys about. Now, the name of the Pokemon is Ski. Spoilers for ahead, but it's not for SDJ. It's not for, for the host of the Pokemon podcast who also named Steve. It's for a friend of mine that I've had for about seven years now. And there's the Pokemon I only find in this area for some unknown reason. That's the only one I found and I sped ahead of the style because I had to cut some time. Which I could have cut going to uh, my trip to a uh, little bark town I think it's called. The first town. I can't remember right now off the top of my head. But anyway. Now I'm looking for another Pokemon just to see what's in this area, and it's another Polymax, so I'm just going to cut this because it takes a while, I'm going to show that Kenny is close to growing to level 8. Like, unlike some people, I will show you guys what happens if anything special happens in a battle, but eh, nothing really happens in these next two battles, but this one... I get fed up seeing all these Polymax, so I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to catch Polymax, I need a water type anyway. I find it kind of funny that that's a female polywag, but yeah, I'll skip ahead to where I'm about to catch it, where the Pokeball's about to go for its last beat, I guess, I don't know. Why is this still... This one, oh, there it goes. <laughs> I'm like, I got, I got lost, sorry about that. And now we have a polywag, and I'm going to name it Steve. Interesting fact about polywag, the, they're saying that the swirl on its belly is its intestines, which is really gross. Yeah, I'm going to name this female polywag Steve, because one of my, my friend Steve's, one of his favorite water Pokemon is Poliwrath. But I like Politoed more because of its drizzle ability, but in this game there are no abilities. So, yeah. This youngster wants to battle me, but I'm going to cut, cut this battle because he only has a Pidgey and a Rattata, so I just destroy him with Kenny, the Super Chikorita. All right. Now, we're heading up here, right here I switch Steve to the front, because I want to get Steve some training before the next gen, because Chikorita, Kenny the Super Chikorita won't be able to do anything in this next gen, 
So I'm going to train Steve's son. Now I head into the grass, barely in the grass, and I find a Pokemon, and you guys want to know what it was? Or is? It's a Poliwag! Oh my gosh, why are there so many Poliwags? So instead of battling it, showing the battle, I just ran away, but I cut it, so... Yeah. Another Poliwag, so I'm not going to deal with this Poliwag either, so I'm going to magically cut away. Here we go, yay! Alright. Now it's time to battle this bug catcher, but this isn't the bug catcher I was telling you about for the significance of the battle, so I'm just going to cut to the end of the battle. I'm showing that he has Caterpie. He has two of them. And I'm showing you guys I'm leading with Steve. Or did I keep this battle on? I can't remember. Let's see. Yeah, this is where I show you that, uh, the reason why I cut the battle, because it take, it took too, way too long, and then I switched into Kenny to take out the last, uh, Caterpie, because Steve was taking some monster hits. Now it's time to go to Route 31. I didn't find any Pokemon in the grass, but I did find a potion right there, which I use right now, which I will, I believe I cut. Yeah, I, I cut the use of the potion. I just used it on a Kenny. So now I'm going to battle this bug trainer, which I'm going to cut to be the middle of the battle, like the, in his last Pokemon. He has three Caterpie and a Weedle, and that's the reason why my, uh, my buddy Steve's poisoned is because of the Weedle. So now I'm going to switch in Kenny, because I found this kind of funny. No, I keep in... Yeah, sorry about that. I go into Kenny, the Super Chikorita, who gets a Super Razor Leaf. Want to know why I say Super? It... One, it Oko's this Caterpie, and reveals to me that it was a critical hit. Ha ha ha. Alright. Kenny doesn't get to level 9 in this, so that really stinks. This is also, if I'm not mistaken, one of the last... This is the last battle of this episode. I'll give you guys any spoilers, but that is the last battle of this episode. Now I'm using Antidote because I didn't want Steve to take too much damage from the poison before I get to... I didn't want him to me pretty much before I got to the, the Pokemon Center in Violet City. So now I switch Kenny and Steve around so that way Kenny will get some more experience. And this battle is against a bloody Poliwag. So I just show you guys that I grew to level 9. And now I'm just going to go ahead and go to Violet City, go to the Pokemon Center. If I... I'm a little bit ahead of myself, sorry. I go to the Pokemon Center and heal up Kenny and Steve. But they're at full health. Now, I was thinking about going to, I think, two more places and solving a puzzle at the last place. But I do make a pit stop at the Pokemon. So, let's, I'm heading to the Pokemon, you guys, the Pokeballs. And it's a potion, so I need a potion. I could have cut this too, I mean... So I just buy, I think, five Pokeballs. Yeah, buy five Pokeballs and I spend, I think, the right step up for a couple hundred on potions. And the only annoyance of the second gen and first gen games is that you have no control over the amount of potions you can have prior. It, the what I say by that is, it is goes to 99 potions, you don't need it to. So now I head down to this route, because I remember that there's a berry here, and a paraliz paralyzation cure berry, so why not grab that right now? Now I head down, because I remember in a, a remake there was grass here, but now there's no grass, which is going to be my pit stop. Sorry about that, guys, if I... I burst my own bubble there, sorry. It's been a while since I've played uh, the second generation games. Now I'm in the ruins of Alf. I was going to solve the puzzle, but then I remembered that in Heart Gold and Soul Silver that the puzzle was a portion of the way done, and and I, there was no way I was going to finish this one here. So yeah, this is going to be the end of part two of this let's play. I'm going to do some off-screen training and some other stuff. So I will catch you guys later. And also one last thing before I go, in the next episode. Of I'm going to be training with, uh, with the unknown, so I'm going to try to catch a flying type in this next episode. If not, I'm going to try to catch another Pokemon. I'm not catching an unknown, just giving you guys that heads up, so later.